So in this scintillating oh, video, oh, I'm going to cover how to mark multiple objects. Now you know that with your black arrow tool, also known as the selection tool, it's quite easy to go and click on various different objects, whether they be shapes or lines or type, and easily mark it. But the problem is that you're only marking one thing at a time. So what if you wanted to mark, say, all of the blue squares? How could you do that? I don't know. Well, there's a couple of ways. If I click on a blue square and then I hold down the shift key and click on the other blue squares, they are all marked. I can now grab them, move them around, resize them, recolor them, whatever I would like to do. So that is one way to do it. Now, what if I just wanted to mark a selected group of objects? So say these four elements here uh, and the box and the lines. Well, I can take my black arrow tool again and just drag a marquee and any object that I even touch with that marquee will become selected. And so you'll see I got all four of those shapes. I got the outer box and then I got the lines marked as well. And so that's often a good way to mark multiple objects as long as they're all together and you can grab them without marking other things. So what if I wanted to select everything? Well, I could do this with my black arrow. That works just fine. But what if I had things all over the place? You know, a whole bunch of different artboard stuff on the pasteboard over here, and I just wanted to select it all. What's an easy way to do that? Well, select menu is a good start. The very top item is all. So you'll notice the keystroke there is command A. I choose that and everything is immediately marked. And then I can do whatever I want. For instance, I just hit the delete key. That, of course, was a horrible mistake. Should I panic at this point? No, I'm a professional, I'm gonna keep my cool, and I'm going to go Command-Z to undo that last delete. Praise be, all of my elements have returned. Hallelujah. Okay, so all that was pretty easy, right? Well, let me show you a lesser known selection trick in Illustrator. And again, let's say I wanted to mark all of those blue squares, but I didn't want to shift click. So say, imagine you had like a hundred blue squares and you just wanted to mark them all quickly. Well, I can click on any blue square and then I can go back to that select menu again. And I'm gonna pull down to same. And so connect the dots there, Duh. select same. And in this case, I'm gonna say fill color. <gasps> and instantly all four boxes are selected. So that's a really nice trick. So if you wanna change the color, it's easy just to change the color for all of them at the same time. But I don't really want the box without the outline selected. So I'm gonna click on one of these boxes that has a fill and a stroke, and then I can go to select, same, fill and stroke, and it will mark then just those four boxes. Finally, what if I wanted to mark everything that has a blue stroke on it? Well, I'm gonna click on something that has that blue stroke, and then I'm gonna say select same stroke color. And that will mark all of the boxes with the blue stroke, and then the outer box and the lines within the box. So all of those have been marked. Okay, last thing. What if I only wanted to mark the blue lines that are that thick. How am I going to do that? Well, again, I'm going to click on that line. And this time, instead of selecting the same color, I'm going to select the same weight, meaning the lines that are this thickness only. And then you'll see that this will mark just those thicker lines. Believe it or not, that is about it. This is a short and sweet video. 